Hey guys, uh, PLTW students. I'm going to show you how to create your PLTW account. If your teacher has chosen to uh, roster you or put you into the PLTW system this way, um, this is a very, very quick example or tutorial on how to do that, uh, how to create your own account. Um, it's pretty straightforward, um, but this is still kind of nice to get a little step by step. First thing you guys are going to do is go to pltw or my.pltw.org. So go to my, M-Y, dot pltw.org. And then click Create Student Account. Create Student Account. Now it says Select a Nickname. It says this is a nickname. This is what your teacher is going to see. Um, but let's just use uh, any old nickname. How about that? Now, my date of birth, if I was born in, say, 2000, that would mean I'd be 20 years old, and I probably wouldn't be in a PLTW class. I guess it's possible. Uh, and it's just going to ask me for my email address. If I was born in, say, 2004, then it's still just asking me for my email. But as soon as I put that, say, I was born in a 5, now it's asking me for a parent or guardian email. Because you have to be at least 16 years old to... Uh, put in your own email address. Uh, it probably has to do with international law. But um, now the username. This is something that I am going to uh, use to log into my account. So probably be a good idea to use something that is secure, people. But you can click help. And you can select your favorite color. How about lemon? And how about a frog? So how about lemon frog uh, 5691? Normally I wouldn't be telling people my username on the internet like this. But... I'm just going to delete this account anyway. Okay. Password. And there you go. And then click next. Make sure you follow the example here. You have to have some kind of uh, special character in there and stuff. Now it's going to create the account. It tells me that's my username. This is really cool. When I click log in to my PLTW, it just brings the username right over. If I'm on a trusted computer, you can click remember me and then click next and you can then put in your password, okay? Okay, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. You can see it says, welcome back, any old nickname. That was the nickname that I put in. I'm gonna click join a new class. This is where you're gonna put in the code that your teacher gives you. Okay, so I'm gonna put this code in. It's uh, something I'm gonna delete right when I'm done with this video so the code won't work. This is just an example. And there it's gonna tell you that uh, it has found your class. It'll tell you the name of the teacher, the course that they're teaching or that this is for. And then if they typed in a section name, they may not have chosen a section name for your class. But then you just click okay. And it sends a request to your teacher. Your teacher has to approve it. Uh, you will not to see that class until your teacher has approved that. You do have some other stuff here you can click on and look at, but the stuff that has to do with your class is going to be in that orange box there that needs to be approved. So I'm going to jump over to my side and approve it real quick. Okay, so now I did go over there and I approved it, and we can just go ahead and click refresh. And hey, there it is. Check it out. I've got a link to my courses. I can see my assessments, um, AP and PLCW, STEM Premier. Um, there's some cool stuff in here, okay? But under my ar uh, green architecture is now a class that you have. Uh, if that was the class you signed up for, then um, you're good to go. Notice in the upper right, it says any old nickname. And it says my profile. I'm going to click on that where it says my profile. This is where you want to put in your information, okay? Every student, you need to do this, all right? This is how I'm going to be able to see as your teacher or your teacher is going to be able to see your name and information, Okay, so say John Smith, and then I can save it. And notice the parent or guardian email that I can change that or I can change the date of birth. Um, that is, you know, anytime you need to change it, you can do that in here. Okay, but now I've clicked save. Uh, that's been updated. And you'll notice that it now in the upper right, it shows my name. Uh, you can go to your profile and see your username anytime. You cannot change your username. Okay cannot change your username. I'll go back to my PLDW. There we go. 
All right, if I click on courses, if you had made more than one course, it would show uh, those courses in here. But right now, I'm just gonna see green architecture. Of course, I have it in English and Spanish if I want it, um, but that's where you're gonna see the courses. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So go make your account.